we like to look well, I think. In, into fashion, you can find beauty, quality, uh, life. I think it's some put color to our life. Versace style is to evolve, uh, is to be uh, contemporary, is to be relevant. And uh, I want to make sure it stays relevant now and will be in the future. The inspiration is women and art and history and uh, music, pop, everything can inspire me. I think I'm so curious and life is so beautiful. <laughs> the fashion industry has no shortage of famous Italian families who've turned their name into towering multi-million dollar empires. Gucci, Prada, Armani, Fendi. All have a fascinating story but none can rival the tragedy and drama of Versace. It reads like an Italian opera of epic scale, from its meteoric rise and dizzying heights of the Miami years to the untimely murder of one of the most iconic designers of the 20th century. Gianni Versace revolutionized the fashion industry with his transcendent desire to be compelling and daring, mirrored in his extravagant and dynamic designs. The world was captivated by his bold and glamorous collections, injecting sexuality, art and stunning colour into luxury fashion. But though he was the envy of the fashion world, Versace's story is shrouded in tragedy. His shocking murder in 1997 shook the industry and the brand to its core and left a gap only his sister Donatella could fill. Here we take a look at the towering multi-billion dollar dynasty that has endured and continues to inspire. The fashion powerhouse that is the House of Versace. Born in 1946, Gianni Versace was a small town boy from Reggio in Calabria, Italy. He was nurtured in a home that valued design with a dressmaker mother who helped shape his artistic and avant-garde sensibilities. By the age of nine, Gianni had designed his first dress. It was a glimpse of the triumphs awaiting him. After graduating high school, where he studied architecture, Versace worked in his mother's workshop before moving to Milan in 1972 to catch the eye of the luxe Italian fashion labels of the day. Yet in his heart, he always carried home with him, and it remains woven into his fine collections. When you are born in a place such as Calabria, and there is beauty all around a Roman bath, a Greek remain, you cannot help but be influenced by the classical past. History ran deep in his collections, most clearly present in the Medusa-esque emblem that became synonymous with the Versace label. Gianni Versace favoured a seductive traditionalism and Baroque motif that flourished in his bright, extravagant and flashy dress designs. By 1974, Versace was designing for dominant Italian labels like Florentine Flowers, De Parisigny, Callahan and Complice and was establishing the Versace name as one of the most fearless in the world of Italian fashion. Right or wrong, chic or shock, a personality to, to express without any um, 
is not be afraid of what you are. That's it, Versace key. From when I start, I always say, be yourself is the only fashion you can wear, it's you. That is Versace. That was the philosophy I had from when I was very young. The House of Versace, officially launched in 1978 by Gianni and his sister Donatella, under the name Gianni Versace Donna. In general, we discuss a lot on everything. It's very easy and very difficult to work in a family, but it's wonderful. At the night when you go to dinner, you can smile, you can trust, you can enjoy the family. I think the strength of Versace is the family group. Opened in Milan's Via della Spiga, the first women's wear collections met with almost immediate success. Colour and serenity radiated from the streets of Milan. It was fast becoming the fashion capital of the world, and the House of Versace was to become the foundation. Powerful, sexy, glamorous. Italian fashion evolved with every new and daring collection that the compelling designer created. I just care about people and the way they have to dress. I think there is a part of edu education in my work. You have to understand, to believe and to communicate to the people what you think, what is your philosophy. That is the part I like of my work. Versace was innovative, revolutionising techniques of bonding leather and rubber using lasers. He also invented the now inherently Versace metal mesh dresses. Moreover, he effortlessly melded fashion with music and art to influence pop culture at a level unrivaled by any designer before or after, and is credited with introducing the world to the supermodel. Versace understood the influence of celebrity on a label's credibility and kick-started the careers of now iconic models like Naomi Campbell, Cindy Crawford and Christy Turlington. But magazines, photo shoots and billboards were not the only ways to demand attention. Fashion shows were his forte. Versace fashion shows were always decked out with the now celebrities, the most influential artists in the world, sitting in the front row of the most renowned and captivating fashion shows. Everything was photographed to tap into a strong publicity scheme. The likes of Madonna, John Bon Jovi, Prince, Elton John, Bruce Weber and Patricia Arquette were a mainstay at Versace's shows, sitting in thrilled anticipation to see the next new thing eons before any other designer clocked on. The world was enthralled by the infinite mastery of Versace. I think it's fantastic to have the luckiness to do a work as I do. I'm a lucky person to do this work. In 1993, Johnny moved to Miami Beach, buying a lavish mansion on Ocean Avenue, which he restored to a level of garish opulence. Named Casa Casarina, the house emblem was the Medusa, that recurring image of Versace's clothing items and accessories, chosen for the legendary ability of the Medusa to make people fall in love with her forever. I have a very private life. I don't really like to go party. I, I hate to go uh, out every night. I like to read and stay by myself. I also reflect myself, the, the love I have for the heart. I like to collect everything. To the other means I'm, I have a beautiful house, I have a beautiful life, but that is the media. What I desire is more. I think I change step by step my fashion. I come. I become a little more free, I think. That's what I like about my life today. I'm less into the business and more into the creativity. Why I leave my business to, to my partner, to my brother and to the other people who work with me. I'm really feel free. I think it's a moment for the designer to be back on the creativity. I'm bored to see everywhere label, label, a label without quality. I always claim for quality, I always scream for quality, I love quality. It certainly seemed fitting for the brand. The sunny, carefree summer of 1993 would see Versace's reputation as a designer and his influence on pop culture approach its zenith. I'm a very curious man, I like to do many things. If tomorrow they ask me to act, I can do. If tomorrow they ask me to write a book, maybe I can do. I love life, I love doing things, I'm full of curiosity. At this time, celebrities flocked to Miami, 
attracted by the lifestyle and endless summer. Frequent guests at Casa Casarina included not only fashion royalty, but those in the entertainment business, such as Gwyneth Paltrow, Elton John, Cher, Madonna and Sting. Casa Casarina became a modern-day Gatsby mansion, and Gianni Versace was Gatsby himself. Alongside the partying, he became known as a rock and roll designer, for dressing pop stars, celebrities and even royalty. I'm still the same little boy who work in fashion. I don't change a little bit. I save myself. Mm -hmm. I'm still a child who love to play with fashion. Do you have to work sometimes at not taking it too seriously, at not getting too carried away in the business of fashion? Not only in my life, in my work. I never take myself too seriously. That's stupid to take yourself too seriously. It's pretentious. Within a year, he had designed the dress that would make him a household name. Although Versace had a long history of designing barely there super sexy dresses, it was a punk-inspired black slit gown held by strategically placed gold safety pins that went into Fashion's Hall of Fame. I've never been to the collection, so I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm all a titter, flitter. It's very of, exciting. Yeah. It's like the Oscars of couture. I like his clothes because I think he's got a you know, unique perspective and uh, he always, there's always a sense of wit to his clothes, you know, some little thing that you, that you think, oh, wow, I never thought of that. In 1994, Hugh Grant arrived for the premiere of his film Four Weddings and a Funeral, with his then unknown girlfriend Elizabeth Hurley on his arm. Grant was riding the wave of his mounting profile in the film industry. However, it was not the charismatic actor that stole the spotlight that day but Hurley wearing the suggestive, plunging yet sophisticated Versace masterpiece. So it's sort of a nice combination of feeling quite sexy, with the other, on the other hand feeling quite contained. The dress was splashed all over newspapers and magazines around the globe and became known as That Dress. It is credited with launching the career of Hurley and gained iconic status as Versace's best known piece. Ever the innovator, Versace continued to be synonymous with change and a desire to influence. In his own words, I think I want to be remembered is what I will do tomorrow. What I did is boring to me. Yeah. I think I'm too classic. Too classic? Yeah. In other words, you don't think that you're pushing further enough out to, to the There's edges? There's never enough in this work, I think. Yeah. You know, you have to really break a barrier every day. Fashion to me, born and die every day. Gianni Versace also expanded into fragrances and interior design. From the release of his first perfume signature in 1981 to the 66 fragrance collections that came after, each have captured the provocation and passion of the evolving designer in a striking and decadent bottle. Similarly, his home signature range of dinnerware, quilts, carpets and cushions for homes have allowed e-seats to immerse themselves in interior spaces that reflect the power and beauty of Versace's perfectionist eye for detail and design. Versace's instinct and eye attracted the attention of opera and ballet directors, resulting in incredible costume design for the stage. Most notably, Versace collaborated with Andrew Strauss to bring frivolity and glamour to high-class ballet that in turn influenced a new attitude to his own design process, a desire to support more comfortable, unrestricted movement in ready-to-wear women's collections. Alongside countless awards in fashion, Versace received an American Fashion Oscar and theatre's Masquerade the Gento Prize for unrivaled excellence in costume design. So much achieved in a couple of decades Yet, we will never know the full extent of his talent. The seemingly endless summer of fashion accolades and high-class parties were cut short. On July the 5th, 1997, moments after taking his morning walk, Gianni Versace was shot dead by serial killer Andrew Cananen outside his Miami home. Hello, welcome back. These are pictures from uh, Miami, 
where the fashion designer Gianni Versace has been shot dead outside his villa on the Ocean Drive. Uh, these are the scenes where police are now carrying out a huge operation uh, to try to find out uh, any clues that might still be around in the area. Uh, they're searching for a white man aged about 25 who's being sought in connection with the shooting which happened uh, just around nine o'clock in the morning local time in Miami when uh, Mr. Versace was returning from a nearby cafe where he had been having breakfast. The world would never know why Cananan chose to murder Versace, but what was made perfectly clear is how much the inspirational designer was truly loved as a man and an artist. In a way, was he as much fun as he looked? He was, he had enormous love for life. I mean, he adored what he did and he surrounded himself with people that uh, he, he loved to be with. He surrounded himself with objects and art and wonderful uh, pictures. But, you know, he enjoyed it. It wasn't that he was trying to be flashy or vulgar. I mean, he was just full of enchantment that his work had brought them all this uh, riches. We have about 30 seconds left. I would like to ask you here at the end, how would you like him to be remembered and how do you remember him? Oh, I remember him for his, just, his enormous love for life and uh, the enormous pleasure he brought to his friends and his family and to his work. I mean, he was, you know, a huge life-enhancing force, a very, very special man. Supermodel Naomi Campbell is in Paris this morning. Naomi, nice to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Right, you too. This must be such a sad day for you. Um, it's, yeah, it's, I'm, I feel pain and anger for what's happened. It's a, cr it's a crime that's disgusting and uncalled for and it should never happen to anybody ever. And I feel pain for Donatella and Santos, his whole family. And, no, I'm never gonna, none, we're never gonna see him again and it's so unfair. It's not fair. A big, sh a big shot from for every one of us I Italians. I mean, it's, it's a flag in the world, and the Sergio, and we are surprised. We we can't believe. Well, we're still in shock, to be honest, because obviously we work very close by, and we find we we can't really comment. It's absolutely tragic. In a Gothic cathedral in Milan city centre, two thousand mourners said goodbye to an icon of fashion in an iconic city of fashion, he helped put on the map. Gianni left an $800 million empire behind that included approximately 130 boutiques worldwide and a cultural ripple effect that was felt around the world. He was 50 years old. If I have to be remembered, I want to be remembered when a man who tried to break a barrier in fashion to put fashion on the street to, uh, to influence people in the best way. Mm -hmm. That is clear. <laughs>Nobody believes me. I'm not a very secure person. You know, I question everything again. My vulnerability was always hidden. I was going home and crying, but crossing the room because I didn't lose a king of fashion, which he was. 
that moment I lost my brother. Sales plummeted, and with each consecutive poorly received collection, pressure mounted. For nearly a decade, the corporation hemorrhaged physical value and creative capital. The fashion house continued to suffer financially for over a decade. The details of the rise and fall are covered in a 2010 biography that inspired the 2013 film The House of Versace. Directed by Sarah Sugarman and starring Gina Gershon, the film highlighted the ups and downs of the Versace siblings as they steered their fashion dynasty. It's Versace, ladies. Why don't you go by the store? Your husbands will be happy. The turn of the 21st century, however, sparked an incredible resurgence for the brand. Donatella successfully emerged from rehab and found her feet. Just like her late brother, she began to revitalize popular culture by melding the power of fashion with the influence of music. Jennifer Lopez was her first muse, draped in the now famous green bohemian jungle dress of the 2000 Grammy Awards. Every gentle, sensuous twirl of JLo's hips drew our eyes to the house of Versace. Flowing, elegant and exquisite, the dress sparked complete pandemonium, especially in the digital world, as users frantically searched for that jungle dress. This event ultimately led to the launch of Google Image Search. The world became captivated by the untamable touch of Donatella, who just like the mythical phoenix, rose from the ashes with a raging desire to be bold, outrageous, and influential in her own right. Audacious artists flocked to Donatella's rebellious aura and exuded the joyous sensuality that had become a staple of the Versace style. Most notably Lady Gaga, who became the beautiful, powerful face of the 2014 Spring Collection. The fearless singer was wrapped in an alluring and flirtatious lilac bondage dress that embraced the sensuous curves of the female form. That Johnny Versace outfit that I'm wearing, I like have, I just remember when he died and I remember my mother and I like cried holding each other <laughs> because Johnny Versace is Wow. Right. He's the, the, le it, the legend the of right, fashion, right. and I'm Italian. Mm -hmm. So that outfit, when Donatella sent it to me, I just remember saying to the House of Gaga, I've been working my whole life to wear this one outfit, and oh my God, all the years that I danced on that fire escape, imagining my glorious moments. As Donatella stated, the campaign shows how Lady Gaga completely captures the Versace's essence creative, experimental, fearless, the embodiment of the Versace's DNA. It was not just Donatella's design and the fierce determination that dazzled the world. It was who she was as a person. Her incredible influence led to Lady Gaga releasing an upbeat pop song, Donatella, that doesn't focus on the Versace fashion label, but the strong woman behind the brand. The House of Versace regained its rightful status of one of the most influential fashion labels in the world, and Donatella has no intention of letting it wither away. Her 2016 spring collection garnered rave reviews and ecstatic reactions from front row attendees. The looks included the return of the military jacket with a sexy twist, cinched at the waist and paired with tiny shorts along with little sporty dresses and casual camouflage suiting. Suddenly, the brand was revitalized and its sexiness made a little more accessible. The brand also collaborated with Lamborghini to design the Lamborghini Merch Lego LP640 Versace with white Versace satin interiors and logo embroidered into the seats. Only 10 units were ever produced and sold with customized Versace luggage sets, luxury driving shoes, and driving gloves. Other collaborations include the Grand Versace VIP luxury helicopter, a men's line for Ford Motors, sneaker collaboration with dancer Lil Buck, luxury Versace residences in China and India, and men's and women's collections for H&M stores. 
The symbolic, flashy, but stylish prints and colors of Versace are a mainstay. But in 2018, fur was banned from their collections, followed by kangaroo leather. By the end of 2018, Michael Cool's Holdings acquired all outstanding shares in Gianni Versace for 2.12 billion US dollars, keeping on Donatella Versace as head of creative design. Not everything is luxury, but a few things are luxury in the, in the fashion. But everybody thinks of, you know, of themselves or their clothes as luxury, luxury. Now, luxury is very special, it's unique. What defines luxury is uniqueness, emotion, and desire. You have to combine the three things together. That's a luxury for me. Today, the House of Versace remains one of the world's leading international fashion houses and an enduring symbol of Italian luxury. In an industry famous for its femorality, the brand has outlasted many others and remained more or less immovable. Just like Gianni said, what you do in the past is boring and classic. It is what you do in the future that defines you as an artist. Donatella continues to showcase what made the Versace label so revolutionary, and her gaze is firmly set on the future. Now the House of Versace designs eyewear, shoes, handbags, fragrance, furniture and tableware, women's wear and men's wear collections, with a powerful sensual elegance that translates into haute couture and retail fashion. Versace's versatile and edgy, designed to elevate modern chic and make luxurious living accessible for the everyday. Currently, the House of Versace is valued at over $5 billion, a remarkable resurrection of one of the most iconic and powerful forces in the history of fashion and popular culture. Donatella has also been a rallying force of optimism through Italy's darkest days of the coronavirus pandemic, lending words of support and pledging over $200,000 to Milan's San Rafael Hospital intensive care units. As much as the Versace story is riddled with challenge and tragedy, it is also an inspirational tale, fronted by determination, fearlessness and growth, showcasing the strength and resilience of the Versace family. Right or wrong, chic or shock, a personality to express without any um, is not be afraid of what you are. That's it, Versace key. From when I start, I always say, be yourself. It's the only fashion you can wear, it's you. That is Versace. That was the philosophy I had from when I was very young. Gianni will forever be the revolutionary, ambitious, exuberant designer that forged an incredible monument of popular culture. Donatella, the fearless expander. Both sister and brother redefined the fashion industry with their desire to be audacious and radiant, and together solidified the House of Versace as an iconic mainstay of modern fashion.